very impressed. Come on, cause it's beautiful. Cause it's, it's beautiful. Stop it. She did not miss. She did not miss. She's definitely giving what she needs to give. I am so sad that I'm about to go to practice and it's not gonna look like this no more. Crown baller, take one, action. Hey babes, welcome back to another video. We gonna hop straight into this. I just wanna show you guys the unboxing of this wig sent to me from Yolova or Yolova Hair. Now here is the contents of the box. I received some lashes, which we ain't gonna talk about the lashes because you know, they're in their own little spectrum. I also received some wig caps in the beige tone and then this was just a thank you card and more so like a welcome to the company type of thing. I also got some tweezers for the pluckage child and let's move on to this wig. So I was sent a 13 by six loose wave Brazilian um, lace frontal wig. Um, for the most part, like pulling this out of the package, Shorty was beautiful, okay? She gave us these nice Hollywood waves and the lace for me was looking very much grayish, but we're gonna get into the wig and I'm gonna give you my thoughts as I show you guys how I'm going to install her. Okay, baby, so hello. Um, you don't have to say anything about me. Worry about yourself. So before we even get into this install, I just want to share with you guys these drops from me L. Don't mind my nails. It's rosemary, mint, scalp, and hair strengthening oil. I've been using it on my hair when I take my wigs off at night. I feel like I've been using them like every day, every other day, and I feel like I just feel growth. Like you know when you can just feel growth. I really wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys are having trouble with your hair, growing your edges, like with split ends, all of that this is the oil for you i'm actually just going to put some on right now i really get into my hair like when i put this on like i get into my braids these braids are literally as old as the 90s so i am getting ready to go to practice soon but we have a lot of things on the agenda today as a team we literally have like a little lunch thing with the governor of mexico we're supposed to be doing this little meet and greet I figured I can't be going there looking crusty and dusty. I already embalmed on my lashes. Like I took all my lashes off. My appointment's on Sunday. Today is Thursday, Jesus. Listen, okay. We're going through a lot. But I needed to install this wig for you guys. You all have already seen the unboxing of this wig and everything that comes in it. This is a wig sent to me by Yolova Hair. It's a 26 inch and it is a 13 by six. So right off the bat, the first thing instantly that I do not like about this wig is that it's pretty much a closure wig. Yes, it says 13 by six, but this is all the parting space that you have on the side. And it just gives you that deep six inch part in the middle. So baby girl is a six by six inch closure. I'm gonna install this wig. I wish that it had an elastic band, like the actual band in it. I may attach one later on. Because I play basketball every day, like I would prefer not to glue down my wig. Normally I do sew them down, so that's probably what I would do with this wig because we don't want no mishaps in the game, practice, or lunchtime, or sliding back. We don't have time for it. We're gonna finesse it in a way. And then the other thing that I was noticing, this is Brazilian hair, but it gives like a really like, not, rough but like I don't know if you guys can tell it's not giving like super soft to the touch and I wash this hair deep conditioning I did bleach the knots and pluck it just a teeny bit y'all know I don't do plucking but I washed and deep condition this hair I just feel like she should be a little bit more soft than what she's giving at least on initial I'm gonna give you guys definitely my final thoughts after I install her so we're gonna hop right into this install I'm gonna let you guys watch and put some music on and then I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys after real quick what i did notice that this lace is very light like i'm putting my foundation on here now but it's very light and gray so it'll be very interesting to see how shorty blends with my hair 
okay so we're gonna hop right into this install as you guys can see i added some foundation to my lace y'all know i was saying that it looked very much light white and not right um so i definitely had to add a little bit of that um foundation powder or you know whatever the case is make sure y'all are tinting your lace to your discretion okay working with this lace wasn't too much but i definitely could you know have had a thinner lace but nevertheless we're going to finesse baby like i said so i use my wax stick and i am using my hot comb to pretty much press away all of the flyaways or the excess hair in the front we need baby to be extra laid and slayed in the front as you guys can see i did go in with um my tweezers a little bit to pluck but not too much so i went ahead and cut off the excess lace around my ears um for me like it's really a struggle honestly like the first initial install when you cut your lace off i don't know why it's such a struggle for me but i struggle y'all i'm not gonna lie to you um i did want to mention that i tucked in every single one of the combs in my um, wig it was one at the top like the crown of the head there's two on the side where like above my ears and then there's one in the back i tucked all of those in but I'm also laying it down with some of this even spray. This is a yellow can that I do that's definitely like, but I just purchased the black one and I'm gonna see if I like baby even more. Okay, I can't speak, but baby. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I like her more. Um, anywho, so once I sprayed a few layers of that even, I let it dry. I didn't use a blow dryer because it really dries quickly. So you kind of got to move a little bit fast, but um, I kind of am pressing my lace into that spray. Obviously, if you want to use a glue, if you want to use a got to be whatever you want to do, this is where you use that at. Um, I'm Once I lay down the lace to my skin, pretty much, I go back in with a little bit more before I put on my elastic band. So if y'all are not new here and you've been here for a while, you already know me. I'm an athlete. I work out literally multiple times a day. So we don't want to have no mismats, mismats. We don't want to have no mishaps with this wig. So I'll go ahead and sew it down. If you guys want a detailed video of that, I will leave it in the cards above or down in the description box below, but let me know. So um, once I've laid this wig down, I took off that elastic band and now I'm just going to cut off my lace, okay? Most people like to use a razor. My scissors are the best thing that works for me, so I'm gonna stick to what I know. Um, so I use my scissors in a super, 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 like over-exaggerated zigzag motion to cut off my lace so that it's not giving us round rainbow cap. <laughs> That's not cute, boo. That's not cute. Um, once I cut that off, I show you guys a little bit of the lace that's not laid down or, you know, just in place where we need it to be. So I went in and added a little bit more of that even to melt her down. And then I put my elastic band back on. So we're going to get into the semi-styling of this wig. I was pretty impressed right here where I didn't have that many flyaways at the top in my middle part. And as y'all can see, this middle part is going back four days. Like, do y'all see the parting? Like, is it just me? Is it me, Jesus? Like, <laughs> so I used some of that wax stick again uh, along my part to kind of lay down everything flat because we want a flat install. Normally with curly or excessively wavy hair, I do not like the flat top, but this is just a little bit different because it's a wave, like a loose wave. So it's not giving us that curl aspect that um, I don't like to see that flat top on. So now I'm just going to um, elongate my part and make it a little bit more realistic and using some of my contour radiance little palette. And I'm using that shade along my hairline as well and along the part so we can hide all that lace. Do you hear me? We're hiding lace all 2022, period, dot. So next we're going to go ahead and add some baby hairs. Y'all know, y'all know. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to baby hairs, okay? I am winging it more and more every day. So just pray for me. Like, pray for me. I'm trying to use techniques that I see. Pray for me. That's all I ask. <laughs> so I kind of cut out four pieces for my baby hairs and flat iron them because they are away from my natural hair. And then we gonna attempt to lay them down. Now, I'm not giving y'all a baby hair tutorial, but I'm showing you guys what I'm using. So I'm using some mousse, I'm using some spritz, and I'm using some ORS gel, okay? I don't have any gel here, so this is what I decided to use and mix together. And so far, it hasn't failed me. So if you wanna try this little combination, 
definitely um i'll leave everything that i use down in the description box so you guys can check it out once i lay down my baby hairs and get them to my liking okay first of all y'all know whatever wig i'm gonna have on if i don't have a single baby hair i'm definitely gonna have some sideburns and you can ask anybody about that praise god <laughs> so once i say i'm okay with these edges slash sideburns i go in with my little wrap and i'm laying my hair down now we're going to attempt to style this hair i thought about straightening this hair but i wanted you guys to really see it and experience it in its natural curl pattern and this is of course after me washing the hair so i can appreciate that the curl pattern is absolutely lovely okay so i just use a little bit of argan oil and some water to get these curls defined but i'm gonna come back and show y'all what's up because baby is popping and i ain't gonna lie okay so one time for the one time can we just can we just have some appreciation Can we just have some appreciation for this install? Cause I am. <laughs> okay. okay, you know what? Let me just relax. Let me just relax. Okay. Here is the finished look. I'm not gonna lie. When I first took this wig out of the package and I was washing it, I was afraid to make it wet. This is loose wave hair. So obviously you see this super cute little pattern, but it was giving finiana. It was giving real thin. Niana and I was nervous. I wanted to see the hair in its natural state, but if it was gonna give thin, I was never gonna wear it in its natural state. I am very impressed. Come on, cause it's beautiful. Cause it's it's beautiful. Stop it. It is 180% density. Y'all know me. If y'all not new to this channel, y'all already know. Your girl loves thickness. I want to look like I am full blown 100% Cherokee and I grew it thick all the way down to my ankles. And that's just how I feel. She's definitely giving what she needs to give. I am so sad that I'm about to go to practice and it's not gonna look like this no more. She did not miss. She did not miss. So just a couple of things that I wanted to mention. As I said before, the lace was like super, super light. So I was very nervous how it would blend. And you could definitely see the lace a little bit in the front, but I used my foundation so it could be a lot more unclockable. And it looks pretty good. Even when I'm looking without the light and in the light, like it looks good. Definitely love that this wig did not come with any like, you know how a wig sometimes you could part it in the middle or on the side and it just has a whole bunch of little hairs. I can honestly say my flyaway ratio was not giving cut off hair and just useless space on the frontal so I definitely appreciate that but other than that like I don't really have no issues with this wig like I'm gonna be real with you obviously the parting space let me just show you guys let me just show y'all what I mean by the parting space this is track so here is where the track starts right here so again, it's giving the six by six. This is track. <laughs> if I had to say like one huge con so far initial that I just, why? You know what I mean? Just why? It would definitely be the parting space of this wig. If I'm expecting 13 by six, baby, I'm expecting here. And I also expect a 200% density. Like, am I asking for too much or I'm asking for a lot? You know what, that's fine. I can ask for a lot. I just feel like give the people what they need. Give the people what they're asking. <laughs> These are just my initial thoughts. Like I was saying before, I feel like the hair is a little bit more rough. Like, and rough kind of sounds really negative, but I just feel like the hair isn't as soft as it can be. But if you look at it, it looks so good like it looks so soft it just doesn't feel that soft but i'm gonna wear this hair i'm gonna live in it i'm obviously about to go play and practice in it so i'm gonna tell you guys exactly how this hair reacts to my sweat on my neck as far as the lace i feel like the lace was a little bit thick it's obviously not hd lace i want to say it's either transparent lace 
or um, Swiss lace. So I will definitely leave all the description for this wig down in the description box for you guys. It wasn't like hard to manage. These are my initial thoughts. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section. I'm about to go flick it up in my robe, in my room, with my view in Mexico. We lit. I'm trying to be on a beach. I'm trying to be at the pool with this hair. I'm just trying to be everywhere. <laughs> Y'all, let me stop because I'm feeling myself. But that's the end of this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Make sure if you did, you give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, it's almost like if you made it this far, smash that red subscribe button down below. Turn that post notification bell on so you know when I post new videos, of course. Make sure y'all follow me on social media because I'm definitely about to go flood y'all's timeline over what I want. A huge thank you to you over here for collaborating with me in this video. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you guys have purchased this wig or any hair from this company at all. I want to know your experience exactly. But that's it. I love you guys so freaking much. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Give me a kiss. Mwah.